So the big question is this, how do investors like us who trade options and manage our own money generate income regardless of where the stock market goes and do it all in a way that lets us make time for the people and things we love and yet still build wealth and remain profitable? That's the question and this podcast will give you the answer. I'm your host, Kirk Duplessis, and you're listening to The Daily Call from Option Alpha. Hey everyone, Kirk here again at optionalpha.com and welcome back to The Daily Call. Today we are going to be talking about short covering and dead cat bounces. And no, we do not harm animals on this podcast nor in trading, but the dead cat bounce is a concept that's very, very often used in describing markets that sell off quickly and then rebound quickly. So so let's cover short covering first. So short covering just basically is the general concept of closing out a position where you're short. You're covering your short by buying back the stock. And so this would generally happen if you're trading stock and you sell stock to begin with. And you can do that, by the way. So most people actually don't know that that can be an entry position. You can sell something you don't own, but you have the obligation, obviously, to cover that position by buying back the stock later, hopefully at a lower price. So if you think that a stock is going to go lower, you might sell stock at $100, hoping to cover or buy the stock back at, say, $90 and make the difference between the spread. So this is different than actually a short squeeze. So short covering is commonly referred to for just covering the position that you're short. So it doesn't have anything to do with maybe necessarily a major market bounce or a major reversal in a stock. It's just simply the process by which short options and short stock traders cover their position. Short squeezes, on the other hand, are a concept where in the market, if there's a lot of people who are short open interest or short interest in a security and the security goes down, you might see a little bit of a rally because you get some sort of short squeeze where all of this rush of buying activity comes back in for people to cover positions. Now, it doesn't always have to be at the bottom of a move. It's and often happen actually at the top of a move. People are really short a particular stock and that stock ends up having really good news. Then you might see a lot of people start closing out their short positions. And to do that, they have to buy the stock back in the open market. And that causes a huge rally in the stock and the stock really never went down in the first place. People are just covering their positions. So that's what typically happens in a short squeeze. Dead cat bounces, on the other hand, are probably one of my favorite things at least to talk about because I think it's a crazy name and I don't even know how this name kind of came about, but it did. But it's this concept that when you throw you know, potentially a dead cat out the window that even a dead cat would bounce off the ground, you know, as you throw it out the window. So again, full disclosure, we don't harm animals on this podcast, but this concept, I think it actually rings really true. And although you can't really prove this, it's not really been back tested. Just in my own trading experience over the last 10 plus years, I've seen this a lot where the markets have very, very sharp sell-offs and usually at this capitulation point, even intraday or, you know, on a weekly chart or on a daily chart, you see this where the market has these, you know, capitulations, huge moves down, seems like everything is going to break and fall apart. And then it has a nice bounce back up. Now, sometimes these dead cat bounces don't last forever, right? It's just this concept that at least after a huge down move in the market, we're going to see some sort of, you know, relief rally. People are going to start taking positions off or start bottom feeding and, you know, start buying up stocks or buying up the underlying security. And it doesn't have to be that this becomes the bottom, but at least it becomes a temporary bottom where the the selling subsides or the move down subsides and starts to move back up at least temporarily for people to start, you know, again, bottom feeding or start covering their short positions. So I have seen this a lot. I think it's actually true. I don't know. Again, there's no research on the magnitude of dead cat bounces or how often they happen or what move it has to happen. But just generally, you'll get a better feel for it after you start watching some charts for a couple of years, which unfortunately means for some of you, they have to do this for a little bit longer. But it's something that we do see. So don't be scared if you see the markets, you know, starting to have a little bit of a capitulation move down. There's probably a little bit of a relief in there. Not that it's going to totally end the down move, but markets don't go straight down and straight up is really the point. So hopefully this helps out. Until next time, happy trading. Thanks for joining us on The Daily Call. Be sure to subscribe right now for more daily options trading ideas, strategies, and tactics to help you learn how to play smarter, more profitable trades. And if you like what we're doing, don't forget to give us a rating and a review so we can continue to bring you the best daily content possible. We'll see you again tomorrow right here on The Daily Call from OptionAlpha.com.